Hi and welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, I'm Jake and I am a remote CGI artist currently working in Cambridge. Since not being able to travel as frequently, I've gradually been building a self-contained desk setup whilst trying to avoid spending tons of money. And the goal of this desk is so I can take it anywhere in the UK and pitch it up almost like a camp if you're on an expedition. And at the minute, the center of this setup is the Dell XPS 15 inch laptop. And it's got an i9 processor, two terabyte solid state hard drive and 32 gig of RAM. I chose this as this was as much power as I could get into a laptop whilst keeping the laptop lightweight and have a decent battery time. The reason I've opted for laptops is a valued freedom of moving around and working where I please, so whether that's in a cafe or a co-working space. So overall the power of the Dell XPS is good enough for most of the things I do. For a long time I've been using the cloud to render, so I first started off with Rebus Farm and now I use Chaos Cloud. And you can check the description for 23 credits to use Chaos Cloud. So onto the desk setup, one of the first things I bought was this laptop hinge holder and this took it off of the desk. When I'm traveling, I actually use this Nexus K2 stand, but I wanted to have as much desk space as possible on this more permanent setup. And in the same vein of keeping this desk uncluttered, I also use this screen bar Again, this is not something for the road, but it's nice to have. Now I have a dedicated desk. And this is something I didn't really realize I needed until I tried it. And lighting is something that's massively overlooked when we're spending hours in front of the screen. So this bit of kit is actually designed to help reduce eye strain. And this is not only useful for eye health, but it's also good for when you're color correcting your images as a CGI artist. And you can change the brightness and temperatures from this neat little dial. And there is also a sensor which will react to the light in the room, creating the optimum light setup. I leave this on auto most of the time. And until I tried it, I didn't realize how badly lit my desk was. And I spend tons of time journaling. The number one journal I recommend is this Lish Term 1917. And this is a white line ruled A5. So white lines may seem simple, but it blows my mind that all notebooks aren't white lined. This means if we draw something, I can photograph it and send it and it's as clear as a plain piece of paper. But then I have guides when I'm writing and it also has some of these QR codes that links to email, Dropbox and Evernote if you really wanted to share quickly, but I've never used any of that. Moving on to the monitors. At the minute, they're not where I want them to be, but I noticed my eyes were starting to strain when I was looking at the 15 inch laptop. I got given a big old Samson TV monitor, which is 32 inches. When I'm traveling, I use the ASOS as an extra screen. I've got the MB16, this one, um, but it's not available anymore, but I think the Zen screen would do the job now. Um, and I'll link to all of these in the description, but screen space is massive. Even when I'm packing light, always take a second screen especially if I'm working on CGI projects, um, you definitely need a second screen. And all of these monitors plug into the Dell D6000 dock. And the idea here is that I just have one cable that I need to plug into the laptop and then it will transform it into a desktop. And the docking station allows me to connect up to three monitors. It also charges the laptop and it also gives four well needed USB ports. And the mouse and keyboard are Logitech. Um, the mouse I'm using is the greatest bit of kit I've used. I've had it nearly a decade. Um, it may be due an upgrade soon, but if I was to upgrade, it would be to the newer version of the MX Master 3. And again, the keyboard is by Logitech. Um, the next move will probably be to a silent one, as people have said they don't like me banging the buttons during some of the tutorials. And the microphone was sent to me by Skillshare a few years ago, and it's fantastic. It's the AT2020, and it's the USB version, and it's been around the world a few times, and it's still doing the biz. And a recent purchase for this desk setup was the hinge, which means I can pull it in and out of the way really easily. So the desk itself, the legs are from FlexiSpot, and they just have a simple electric up and down. And for the top itself, my brother-in-law owns a scaffolding business and my best pal is a carpenter. So 
I kindly managed to source free scaffolding planks and borrowed the skills of a well seasoned professional carpenter. This formed the masterpiece you see in front of you now. The gaming chair on Amazon and I can honestly say I couldn't be happier. It's ideal to spend a few hours in but in general that's where I'm at with this semi-permanent desk setup. Links to everything is in the description along with any discounts that are possible. I noted a few bits that I use when I'm traveling, but if you'd like me to go deeper into the traveling side of equipment, then let me know as hopefully traveling is gonna be on the horizon soon. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks very much.